Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with mysticgenmara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And tonight, today, whenever you see this video, I would like to offer the Rune Elemental check-in for the week of September 29th through October 5th for 2024. Although with most intuitive guidance, it is timeless and as we are doing general readings here, uh, it can apply for whenever you happen to see the video. Um, if you're interested as to why I read for the elements instead of the zodiac, you can check out a video I have in the description. Um, there's also some other goodies down there if you're interested in getting started with runes. And then if you've never had your birth charts done, there is a link in the description for a natal interpretation chart which includes what is called the Merlin Report. Uh, it gives you your base chart with the 12 houses and all the planets and all the symbols. I'm still trying to figure all those out. Um, but it also gives you 10 to 20 pages, depending on what's there, of a de detailed description, including your, including your elemental alignment. So if you're curious into something like that, you can check that out down there as well. Um, the natal interpretation chart is not like a promotion or anything. Or I'm not sponsored. But it is a really nice product. I have it literally right next to me on the <laughs> on my desk here. Um, it's one I use frequently to double check stuff for myself. So it's a pretty good resource. Anyway, we will hop over to our first element, which is fire, covering the zodiac of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So if you are Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, this one is for you, and we are looking at the week, for everybody, <laughs> of September 29th through October 5th. So, Fire, you're starting off with a bang of a rune for this week. We're starting off with the Hagalaz rune, which is Hail, color of light blue, tarot association is the world, astrology is Aquarius. So you're getting some air energy tossed in there, Fire, so this could cause a little flare-ups. Uh, signifies unexpected setbacks or problems, attempting to let things flow, possible disruptive natural events. So fire, what I'm getting right off the bat for this is this week is going to be aggressive and there's something that's going to be fueling it. When you have an air energy coming in to support fire, you're basically blowing on an already burning flame and it can do one of two things. If the flame's not super big, it can put it out. If the flame is already fired up, it's going to make it bigger. So this week is going to be a little bit intense is what I'm hearing for our fire family here. And it's saying that, depending on what your second rune is, um, pay attention and just try to not allow yourself to get fired up over situations. There's energy that's coming in that could be a little bit intense for our fire family. And what I'm hearing is this is a good time to take a step back and not get too in the middle of what's going on. Your second rune is the Thurizaz rune, which is the god of strength. Color of bright red, tarot association is emperor, Mar astrology is Mars. So we're tapping into definitely fire energy here. Uh, protection, something, someone may provide help or good news may be coming. So they're saying that this is going to be an interesting week because you have Hagalah saying brace yourself there could be some intensity and it could be um, triggered or made worse by someone's air energy coming in but you have Thurizaz as well coming here so you have the strength to deal with this you've got the Emperor and Mars so you're able to tell is this a battle that's worth me fighting is this something that I need to be involved in if the answer to both of those is no then you step back it's not worth the fight, it's not worth the trial, it's not worth the struggle. So this week for Fire Family, it's definitely testing your resolve. It's not I won't say patience because that's not the it isn't that's not the feeling I'm getting. It's testing your resolve on this. So as you're going through this week, just pay attention. Things may be a little bit fiery. And they're they're giving the warning. Other people's drama being spoken, air energy may be triggering something so try to ignore the drama as much as you can this uh, in this upcoming week because there's going to be a lot of it is what I'm hearing. So let's hop over to our earth family with Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. 
and earth your first rune if I can find the page here is the Wunjo which is joy so earth starting off in a good spot color of yellow tarot association is strength astrology is Leo so we're working in some fire energy here a sign of happiness and harmony between people a situation changing for the better so fire if you've been dealing with a little bit of heavy or er, er, fire earth if you've been dealing with some heavy energy this rune is saying that's for this week anyway it's coming to an end it's coming to a point where you can feel relief you can feel happiness again the leo energy is really about being more projective being more um more shining in your energy think of being golden and the sun hits it and you're just you're kind of lit up so other people are going to notice that you are doing better as well and it's a supportive energy but it's it's not just the supportive it's really saying you have worked through some stuff and it might be something minor it could be something big but you're just going to be in a much better headspace this week your second rune is Kano or the torch and it is also with fire so you've got some a lot of fire support this week our earth color of light red terror association is a chariot astrology is Venus signifies creative fire awakening artistic impulses passion and sexual desire fire or fire because there's so much fire tied to this earth you have you've got it going on this week and you've got the support of fiery passionate energy you also have some water energy with Venus coming in so this week is going to be a very positive week um, Definitely, if you're in a relationship, set some time aside for that, however that manifests for you. And if you're single, at least do something that is a little bit more social. This They're saying that this is all about speed and choices and not making decisions on the fly, but you've been working on some things, you've been thinking about some things. Those decisions are going to happen a lot faster this week because the alignments are really, really, really in your favor. So water definitely or air we'll get there earth i'm sorry <laughs> earth definitely be paying attention to the signs and symbols this week because what i'm hearing is whatever you're putting your attention to is going to get an extra boost of passion and creativity with it so see what you can build this week uh let's hop over to our air energy family which is gemini libra and aquarius and air we have, if the page will work with me here, do, 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 do. Lagu's Water. So you're starting off a little bit emotional this week, is what I'm hearing, Air. Uh, color of deep gr green. Terror Association is the star. Astrology is the moon. So you've got some interesting supporters coming forward. The star, so you're getting that celestial energy. With the moon, you're also getting some divine feminine as well as water energy. Uh, unconscious intuition and mystery psychic awareness hidden sources of creativity things that you have kind of kept quiet to yourself are going to be coming to the surface is what I'm hearing those emotions that you have logically put aside are actually going to start flaring up this week they're not saying it's bad because you have a lot of support from the moon and the stars so you've got like big time heavy heavenly and celestial energy coming in supporting you but it's definitely a time for looking into the deeper parts of yourself, meditation, uh, journaling, and maybe even talking to somebody about it because there's some things that need to be moved out is what I'm hearing. And this week they're going to basically pop up whether you want them to or not. And this is the time to deal with them and release them. So your second rune is Perth, the fate rune, color of black, tarot association is wheel of fortune. Astrology is Saturn. You've got mystery, chance, unexpected material gain, surprises, something hidden coming to light. So these two runes really are saying basic, not basically the same thing. The things that you have been pushing down, the things that you have been repressing, and I don't like that word, but that's what I'm hearing, is starting to boil over. And this week, the Wheel of Fortune and the Moon are coming up saying, we see what's happening. This is a cy cyclical pattern now is the time to work through those things that are coming up and it could be something minor like I just need to eat better I don't want others to think about blah 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 about how I'm eating 
why are you worried about what other people think? You should be doing it for your own health if, if it, that's a concern, is what <laughs> one of the examples they're saying. But it could be something minor like just a, adjusting a dietary practice, or it could be something bigger, and I'm not seeing exactly what that is. I saw rainbow flag, so I'm not sure if that applies to anybody. Um, but there's things that you have been repressing and hiding, and this week, some of that stuff might be coming to the surface. So it's definitely a week to take internal inventory, write out your lists of the things, the pros and cons lists, see where you're at, what needs to be maybe looked into a little bit more, what needs to be tweaked here and there. Um, but just take some time this week to try to work on the inner world. And like I like they keep saying is meditation is a prime example for air. And it's kind of fun because it triggers that intellectual aspect, that um, analytical examination of the intuitive and the emotional. So it, use it as a learning lesson to <laughs> play around with some of that energy. So uh, let's take a peek at our water family, which is Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, you are water, and we are starting off with Burkana, the birth rune. Color of dark green, tarot association is empress, astrology is Virgo. So you're getting some earth as well as some divine feminine energy here. Uh, renewal, promise of new beginnings, new growth, birth, family, and home. This is a fertile week, is what I'm hearing for water. This is a time of expansion and growth, and birth does not always mean a physical birth. It could also be the birth of your business, the birth of a dream or an ideal. It could be the birth of that next step in your career chain, however that looks for you. But they're saying that this week, especially with that divine feminine energy, it's going to happen. It's going to be subtle. It's going to be empowering. And you're not going to be able to push your way through this. This is one of those things where the, in the divine feminine aspect, divine feminine tends to be more passive. That doesn't mean it's weak or anything else. It just means that she allows things to come to her, whereas the masculine is like, I'm going to make it happen. And this energy this week is saying, allow the energy to flow because things are going to happen rapidly when you don't try to dominate or control the situation is what I keep hearing. So your second rune is the Gibo rune, which is your blessings and generosity rune. Color of deep blue, tarot association is the lovers, astrology is Pisces. This is like the perfect water rune, really. Uh, it's a sign of gifts, generosity, giving, people coming together, relationships becoming deeper. So you have a lot of positive uh, juju, if you want to call it that, coming up this week for water. With these two runes, it's saying that there's a lot of possibility. There's going to be a lot of uh, rewards, generosity, give and take, but it's going to be give and take in a way where both parties win and both parties grow. Water definitely... Put your intentions into the universe in your meditations. Start your days off with very positive affirmations. When you get up in the morning, when you put your feet on the floor, smile and say, this is going to be an amazing day. I claim the blessings, generosity, and enjoyment of the universe. So mode it be, however you s want to go through this. But this week is definitely going to be a positive one and super energetically rewarding for our water family is what I'm hearing. So with that that any other messages for all parties no matter what life brings forward there's always the option to make it better or make it worse in the world in which we live manifestation and karma have become fairly instantaneous so the choices that you make today are actually going to pay out tomorrow set yourself up for success in everything that you do start your days with smiles start your days with positivity and allow the divine to work with you on the creations that you are de developing as go you go forward. With that, I will let you guys go. Have an awesome rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video.